for the same repetitive work. Then the other muscles all become weaker. We must make sure for a while you get up, do something else, for a while do this. Because some people are employed to do certain things only. I have uh, a bus operator who work for the pharmacies, who work through the to the uh, glass only those days. When you go to the open hospital, you see, you talk to them through the hole. So that person worked there. We only pick up and go back already. They have flown there for eight hours. <laughs> only that hole only. He worked continuously. When he retired, he can't even turn his head. <laughs> so this is what I mean. You know, too long employing the same muscle and you can't even move it again. Imagine you are reading this paper. Or New Year celebration, want to see fireworks. How are you going to watch? Because <laughs> your, your neck locked already. So that's why this is important features for us to know. We do want to employ the same muscle continuously again and again. And then weight bearing means the moment you are loading, there are some joints, there are two big joints known as weight bearing joints. One is the knee, the other one is your hip. The spine as well, but then they are all being absorbed by your disc. But the knee, knee only have fluid inside. So it is a weight bearing. It takes the whole 100% of your body weight. The moment it reaches to your foot, it distributes. So all your foot, toes and everything distribute your body weight. Thank you, Beta. Thank you. Uh, now we'll go the benefit. When you are in correct or good posture, so far we are talking about just to refresh, we are talking about posture. How do you keep your posture in one position or how long? And it's all related to gravity. Because gravity will pull you, so you need to be in that position uh, for, for a period of time. So now we're talking about if you decided to be in good posture, what is your benefit? First, your bone and joint will be in alignment because the body will feel, A, hey, all of us are designed. Let me give you a tip first before we continue that. Walking is the best alignment. We are realigning our body by walking. So the moment you do walking, because those days employment, eh, you do not have transport. You do cycling to reach from one point to another point. Rarely our parents complain about back pain, foot pain, all that. Why? Because they go out for a cup of coffee, they walk and go. <laughs> they go to work, they walk and go. So meeting anybody, you want to call somebody, phone is outside there. You have to queue and wait and then call, but you have to walk and go. So the process of walking is realigning your muscles and joints. Your bone and joints, huh? all of them get realigned. So the moment you start walking and going somewhere eh, for a period of 20 minutes, that allowing your heart to be happy because he is employed for 20 minutes. He need to stay healthy. On, because otherwise he says, hey, I'm not being tested. Am I enough to work for 24 hours? So once a day, at least three times a day, the heart would like to feel the highest pressure. And that can happen after 20 minutes of walking. If you go for a good walk, continue, don't do three minutes, don't do five minutes, try, try to reach cross 20 minutes. Then your heart says, you tested me today. He like that. Or if you have very good healthy heart and no problem, stack is. He need about four flight of ten steps. Four. That will give him a good test. And three times a day also. So some people need shortcut. Who got double story or three story house, then they know. Just walk up, come down, walk up, come down, and walk up, come down. The heart will be very happy in a 24 hours. But first you check whether you're okay on that. <laughs> now second one is, when you have proper position. It's a friend we were talking, Francis, uh, it's a friend, isn't it? Your, your name, sir? Wrong. Uh, Mr. Wong, sorry. sorry. Uh, Mr. Wong also has attended our earlier talk. We have decided to talk about proper posture. So I just do this small review again. We are talking here about good posture and the benefit of having a good posture. So good posture is associated with one, your gravity, your position in, in one position, body position, with gravity pulling you. So sometimes without gravity, what happens? You are floating. So when you are in the air, you do not have posture. You keep on changing posture. 
because no gravity means you can't control. So how lucky we are with gravity because at least we know our energy pulling us down here. Otherwise our energy pulls everywhere. So we do not know which direction. Tell you honestly, it's not nice without gravity. For a while it's fun because you can fly like a bird, but later you realize you can't even go down, you can't even go up. So gravity is important. It pull you, then you can move. When you have a good posture, your alignment is in alignment and this decreased stress on the ligament and that holding the joint. I shared this now. Body, bone attached to each other by a ligament. Ligament is like a rubber that is binding to hold our bone in one position. And uh, so when we have less stress on the ligament, we don't get sprain. Have you heard about sprain before? Sometimes some people go, they saw one stone only, they didn't notice their leg went on one side. Mm -hmm. So that is, a, um, that is a traumatic sprain. But people who have low arch, people who have very low arch like that, they easily get sprain, functional sprain. Without them getting injured, they already have sprain. Because a lot of their ligaments have a lot of stress. Their foot is not in proper position, so they easily get sprained. The sprain that they always get will be in their knee, inner side, and also their uh, ankle in the inner side also. And they will never complain they have pain there. They will complain about knee pain, but they won't complain about the ankle pain. Are you okay? So those are functional sprains. Sprain come from your movement. Trauma, the one that you know, fall down that day, that is trauma sprain. And when you have proper posture, you have lesser fatigue. Your muscle don't get fatigue very fast. So basically, you do not have sprain and strain. That's two words now. Sprain is for ligament. Strain is for muscles. The muscle that is wrongly hold in one position, they get strain. And prevent backache and muscular pain. That muscular pain is associated with the strain. Too long you're holding the same muscle. Example, I give you five liter of oil to carry like that. You hold it for a while, first minute you can show you are a hero. <laughs> the third minute you cannot hold it already. I remember those days of school time, the teacher said, okay, you open up your hand like that and stand like a superman. <laughs> for a period of time. Initially you're a hero, after that you can realize your hand all very heavy already. <laughs> yeah, that is known as training. The muscle fibers start growing, <coughs> tearing off and they start dropping. And of course, if you've got good posture, you will have a good appearance. Here you can see Mr. Wong sitting very upright like this. Uh, you've got good posture and good appearance. <laughs> so it's a good sign. Because at the end of it, you get motivated, you know. Today, when we are going back, please open up and feel how to have a good feeling. Because your benefit will be your good appearance. If you know how to hold the whole thing in a correct place, you don't have injury. So you know how you are in good appearance. Type of postures. Look at this first one. Eh? This is the theory. Theory is your ear, shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle. All in one line. Some people you see the head gone like that. I have a professor from University of Laya who is in the faculty of computer. He came to my clinic. He says his neck. He cannot look up. He is Punjabi. So when we go and pray in, good, in a Sikh temple, we call it Gurdwara. After praying, we go down. We normally can carry our head up. He cannot. He already go down. He cannot carry his head up. And he's only not even six years old. He's still young. And he cannot because computer too long. <laughs> We only eight hours, huh? to become a professor you need to do 16 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so you got 15 hours there, play and all the people have like, submitting all the assignment, all like that, like that, slowly gone like that. <laughs> what had happened? If you join me and analyze, his front muscles have pulled him. Mm. The back muscles have released him. So he cannot pull the whole posture up already. So he came to me, he's having a lot of strain plus sprain. All the neck bone here sprain. You know how I treated him? Very easy. I just ease his chest muscle, I give him ice. Then the ice has strengthened his ligament, the whole neck becomes still, uh, more steady already. He felt so much better. So imagine uh, his professor, he's a professor, but he cannot be walking around like that. <laughs> Later, I met him here, I was wondering why he always keep his finger at his mouth here. 
actually is using his thumb here mm. to push his neck backwards mm. when he's talking. I thought it was Yugi Rona. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to cover up or something, but actually he's trying to push his skin backwards so they can talk to you more than three minutes. Uh, he can only enjoy breakfast 15 seconds. First 15 seconds nice, after that pain. Cannot enjoy everything. So your tongue cannot taste nice when your mind is already mm. doing pain. You know, nothing tastes good already. Imagine uh, people having that pain. So today we are associated with that kind of conditions. So when you have the neck gone so far in front, it's like that. Second one, we also have that people who walk with the neck far behind <laughs> the whole body in front like that. And they were normally talke, talke, we be talke like that. <laughs> because when they discuss in a meeting hall, they are always behind the chair. <laughs> They're listening because they have worked hard at one stage, but later they, they don't have to do physical work, they only listen to me. So they are listening, sitting on a chair in the wrong posture, their neck on far behind. <laughs> <laughs> and they walk in in this clinic with a lot of neck, you know, so. So both things is the same thing here. But actually it will disturb the whole spine. Here about 33 bones. After that we have one big pelvic here, who act like a, like a rocker. This one is a rocker. So you can pelvic backward, you can bring forward, you can bring sideways, you can bring sideways. So last time we do limbo rock. <laughs> so this is the rocker that you need to keep it flexible. And this is controlled by your front muscles here and back muscles here. One bone only here. Very long muscle bone, one only. Down here also actually one big one, supported by one small bone. But here you have 20%, 25% of your total body bone only at your ankle and below. One foot got 26 bones, another foot got 26. Next time when I talk about food, maybe you'll come and I'll share with you all. This is what it creates at the end of it. And this much of pain it can create. If you have high arch, people will come with neck pain. People with low arch normally always end up at lower back. Sprain everywhere, the knee is going inside. So if you see a person walking with the knee inside, you know his foot is back. When you see somebody always hold their neck pending here, pending here, you check his foot and see his foot will be very high. He will have a very high foot that only the front portion and the back portion only touching the floor. We will talk about that after this. So before that, this is normal. Normal, the whole spine will be straight, like I've shared with you just now, walking will keep them straight. So if you want to keep yourself healthy, go for one of the walk. Doesn't matter morning, afternoon or lunch or shopping, but must continue for 20 minutes. Have a good swing hand walk. Ladies got problem, huh? the hand back. So the hand not swinging. <laughs> uh, so you have to keep somewhere. Make it empty for a while. So decide where you can keep it empty. When you got the chance empty, that's the time you go for good walk. Swing your two hands so that everything that you swing, this hand and this hip will move together. So when this hand moves, this leg will move together like I'm walking, my opposite side will walk. So you will have a energy crossing at your hip joint here. And the other side also crossing at your hip joint here. Your center of gravity is somewhere in the back here. The, the strongest or the weakest point is here. So if you want to fight somebody, you know, don't punch his face. He will show his back only, you kick his back. <laughs> he sure fall. So Mike Tyson come, he say, want to fight with you, you say, can you punch me 10 times, but you turn, I just need to punch you one time. Well, you know Mike Tyson, right? Now no more already, but our time, not that one. <laughs> so his weakest point is here. And when he show you the back only, you know already, you can win already. Okay? Alright? So that is the center of gravity. That's the place where you are either strongest, if you know how to control it, or your weakest. And a lot of people who have back pain, the center of gravity has shifted upward mm. and gone sideways. Mm. I have one patient now still suffering. He already third cycle of treatment. He's fine the moment he stand up. When he's lying down, he feels good. The moment he stand up, his whole weight, weight fall on his right side. Mm. And the whole left side is very painful. And he walk only, he can walk half like that. He cannot get a full swing. So his spine has shifted to the right. But the neck and the hip is still in one alignment. He do not have this. It has the whole curve like that. 
this guy here, he go and come back. The other person, the person, my patient now, he has a complete shift and never come back. Mm. So he feel very weird. He feel like he's falling one side slowly <coughs> and I'm falling. So not, not fun. So I told him now his assignment, I'm paying for rain to come every morning. <coughs> morning you have, you know one of our friends here, going for morning walk on a soft ground at the field without wearing shoes, then you know it is all assignment. <laughs> But he cannot wear shoes, he cannot wear anything hard, he cannot walk on our floor here. His best floor will be after rain, padang, thick grass walk. Then he will feel a bit more aligned. So it's not easy to maintain. And you know today the secret is walk. Walking will realign you. If you are healthy, no pain already, you know, to keep yourself healthy, walk. Okay? Now let's see one more posture here. This is what I was telling the neck gone behind and somebody's neck gone in front of the mind. We see a few more pictures after that we carry on. This is a correct posture. You have a curve here, you have another curve here. But some people, especially cashier, cadet copy cashier, the one who's sitting down those days got a lot of shilling on. <laughs> Remember the 37, 47, he, he just played with shilling a lot on his table when he collect the dollars all muscle pocket, the shilling all on the table one. So that man normally has a very back curve here. He normally sits like that. The moment you see him resting only, he'll come out, he just walk like that. <laughs> <laughs> and he sit also, you thought he's sitting, no standing. Actually his posture is like that. So that is the person. A complete curve here, we call it her hollow back or kyphosis. He cannot straight his back. So when he see the aeroplane show all he cannot enjoy. <laughs> he cannot bring his body up. He need to use mirror to see. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have a flat pelvis. Their back a flat one. No Not so nice looking one. No batok. Uh, no batok. These people will spend a lot of money here to make batok. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Some people are slumping or hunching. You tend to fall forward. Some people have a military stand. I got a doctor who came to see me. Today she is in Laos, I think. Hello, man. Uh, she is going Laos any moment. She has a straight back. Why? Because her colleague, orthopedic surgeon, told her you must sit up straight. <laughs> straight. <laughs> She came to me, she said, I'm holding, I'm retired today, but my back is straight. Straight is not good. <laughs> straight is not good. You need to have two curves here to keep yourself correct posture. <laughs> this is what that person supposed to be telling me when he told them straight. She followed and she's a doctor. <laughs> but luckily she's on a different department, so we cannot blame her so much. But here today you know posture is not straight. Posture is a comfortable position that you know you are least straining your muscles and joints. You must have the curve back in it now. So you see the military stand right there is not <laughs> So the army boys are wrong. Uh, not to say wrong. Actually, as you see the ending later, you know already. You can do anything you like, but you must know how to come back to correct posture. That will hold you. This posture can be assigned only when you go for walk. Mm -hmm. You do cycling. You do swimming. But Either one of the three is all good already. Okay? Any question? You okay so far? Hmm? Now here we can see the correct one. From behind you will see it straight. From the side you see it is a curve actually. The, the other guy here with the kyphosis, he has a very high shoulder one. Very <coughs> high shoulder and forward body. Hmm? Then you can see a, a high hip. <coughs> the hip go upward. This is a flat or top one. And then head tilt. There are some people I saw in the morning they walk, they walk with the necks hanging like that. One. <coughs> Have you seen these kind of people? They go for a walk, they are one hand not swinging, the other hand swinging one. <laughs> uh, these people have some, some, some imbalance. Huh? We do not want imbalance. We have to correct the balance, imbalance, create balance, then enjoy our posture. Keep them normal. That's cool, you see, huh? This kind of a uh, severe one normally needs a day. The one cannot get corrected that means like that. But scoliosis happen mostly to ladies because you all grow taller faster than the boys. 
If you remember when we were in Form 5, mm. you know, between three boys, all very small size ones. <laughs> <laughs> the girls all very tall and all looking at Form 6 boys only. <laughs> <laughs> then Valentine's Day, we tried to give one flower. If you give that small boy only. Go, go, go. Until the age of 18, the girls grow. So the girls grow very fast upward. And they carry back one side. That's how they get one side. Going into the side. You all grow faster upward, but you all carry heavy things on your back, your spine will go sideways. So a lot of ladies get scoliosis. Normal to have, but cannot have more than 15 degrees. If too much, then you can easily see one hand, singing one. That one not good. So they need to correct it. The boys, we will grow sideways first. I'm still growing sideways. <laughs> <laughs> so we grow sideways first, and then slowly we grow upward. So our sideway will become a base first. Our spine, huh? the 33 bones, they go sideway first to create the base. That's why the boys can help you all to carry heavy things because their base are stronger. Mm -hmm. The girls one, they grow upward first. Mm -hmm. They do not have the base because they have to create posture. Mm -hmm. And they, they, it's a natural uh, uh, growing method. Mm -hmm. God has purpose, reason, purpose to for that. So, the spine itself has a two different uh, growing method. Okay?